Remember Kajirare, Kajirare? And the cult dance song starring Aishwarya Rai. Such a craze that at almost every wedding to every party, you had somebody do the hip movements of Aishwarya Rai saying Kajirare, Kajirare. That film in 2005 also had Bachchan in a can't go wrong moment of his time, life, career. There was Rani Mukherjee and uh, Abhishek Bachchan to a story written by Aditya Chopra, a film directed by Shah Dali, Banti or Bubbly. There was a lot of bubble in that film and a lot of banter. This time round, neither banter nor bubble is what makes Bunty and Bubbly party. Written and directed by Varun Sharma, this film is insipid beyond description. In fact, even as I speak to you, the number games say that Aditya Chopra may have made a huge mistake because there is near a summary rejection by the audience at the box office. And this coming just two weeks after the audience showed a great amount of anxiety to go back to the big theater houses and watch Surya Vanshi Rohit Sethi's film somewhere, some, something more about it elsewhere. You have uh, Inspector. Jatan Singh, played by Pankaj Tripathi, who comes in as the replacement in terms of role of Amitabh Bachchan, the man who is set to catch Bunty and Bubbly. You have a new Bunty and Bubbly in pair, Siddhant Chaturvedi as Kunal Vishwakarma, who is Bunty, and Sonia Kapoor. Bubbly, played by Sharwari Vag. The couple are out to con awesome con artists. And when the first con happens, and this is about selling a trip to a non existent Virgin Island to five raunchy, pot bellied business. The police wakes up, the antenna is out, and the obvious suspects are Bunty and Bubbly of times old. Unfortunately, this time, while Bubbly remains the same, you have a new Bunty. Saifali Khan redoing what Abhishek Bachchan had done in Bunty and Bubbly 1. Tries hard, tries really hard. He has that pot belly to show that he is middle aged and uh, out of sync with the tricks in the trade. There is also some banter between Bunty and Bubbly that is Seth and uh, Rani. They do not share the same screen chemistry that Abhishek and Rani Mukherjee do. I will come back to this Abhishek, Seth, Ali Khan at a later point in time, but to take the narrative further. <clears throat> Inspector Jatin Singh, that's Pankaj Tripathi, comes in, uh, holds on to these two prime suspects, only to realize that on the whole, another couple, a younger one, who are trying to cheat people and push forward the trademark franchise of Bunty and Bubbly. Do they get caught? Or like the Doom series, the Bunty and Bubbly escape? To give you a chance for another Bunty and Bubbly is what this whole story is about. And it's so incident ridden that the narrative will not have too much to talk about. And the style has neither much to talk about. Rani Mukherjee mistakes her role of being a quasi rural gal as though she is getting ready for a costume drama, garish beyond words. Now this is about attention. 
this is about blowing beyond proportion something that you want to push and it doesn't work. She's loud. A good comedian must rely not on making faces but on subtle expressions which Abhishek Bachchan had in abundance when he was doing Bunty and Bubble and Seth does not deliver in Bunty or Bubble too. Interestingly, Sharwari Wag has good screen presence and may have a future if she gets the right roles and puts in a greater bit of effort. Of all the them, it is Siddhant Chaturvedi as the second level Bunty who shows a greater sense of screen presence, confidence, understanding, doesn't go over the board. I think he stays within his, him, himself like Abhishek did in Bunty or Babri. And your heart goes out for uh, Pankaj Tripathi. What an actor. He tries his very best to deal with a poorly etched role. Nothing remains. And again, will somebody please tell Arif Shrek, the editor of the movie, that if you want to make a good comedy, you must make it within and not beyond two hours. Nobody's going to sit and watch Tom Foolery for over two hours and ten minutes. Not today's audience. The audience have changed even from 25 to 20, 21. In these 15 years, the audience capacity to sit in a theater and watch nonsense has changed. The post-COVID scenario and the collections of Bunty and Bubbly 2 at the theaters would show that if anything, the audience is mature. They have enough alternatives. They might as well sit at home and watch another good film that is released on the same day or a film they missed last week or go down to Kerala and watch something on Netflix. Bunty and Bubbly 2 doesn't work. And one of the reasons I would put my finger on is because Abhishek Bachchan is absent from the film. He was that fine balance, that fine sense of awkward underplaying which Seif fails to do. Bunty or Bubbly? Come on. There are many, many things you can do other than watch this movie. Do let me know if you enjoy the movie. That part of the cinema which I have missed because I'm curious if there's anybody who's going to tell me I like Bunty or Bubbly too. Acknowledgements to Abhinav and Datu. Good day. See you later. Bye bye.